guys, what's going on? Dream Reaver 23 here with another Let's Play episode of Terra Firma Craft here on the 1.7.1 uh, uh, is the uh, Minecraft version we're actually using. And uh, we are using the 79.16 version of Terra Firma Craft. It is the, or actually no, 79.19 is the uh, latest version that's out right now, I believe. So we are uh, here on our island and making things happen and making things work. While we have uh, been on break, I have actually gotten quite a bit done. Um, as you can see from the uh, amount of copper ore, I've been mining some copper. So, so far we have 24 right there, and then these two tetrahedrites, uh, small tetrahedrites. That's uh, also copper. <clears throat> but we have enough to where we can actually make um, a few, oh, actually a couple, of tools. And so I figure I'll make a saw, and then uh, make a, uh, a pickaxe. So that way we can kind of get started doing a lot of stuff over here. We could possibly make a, uh, a shovel as well, but <clears throat> I digress. We are going to make just a few other things. Now, I did set our pottery to uh, burn in the kiln. We have a ceramic vessel here, two of them. We have two ceramic jugs, which we will fill up. And then we have four... Um, molds that we're, we will actually use to make our, our uh, tools and everything out of. <coughs> so let's go ahead and eat. I'm definitely going to fill up the jugs first because the jugs make it a lot quicker to, to drink water, right? So before you had to like go through and drink forever, right here you fill it up with one click and it's done, which is nice. Let's go ahead and fill in our holes here. Is this going to break it? I think it is going to break it. Oh, it didn't break it. Nice. We are still living out of our little hovel right here. <clears throat> but not for long. And actually, I filled that in and I didn't need to. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to take and uh, put our ceramic vessels on our hotbar. And with them on our hotbar... <clears throat> We will uh, right click with them in our in our spot. That's going to open up this bit right here. We're going to put 10, <clears throat> which actually we could put 20 in here altogether. Nope, I only want 20. Uh, if you don't have a full amount, it's, it's really not worth trying to burn it. So that's the only reason why I'm putting that much in there. And then uh, make sure that we have, let's take this one actually off the hot bar. Now we could we could take this one <clears throat> from the hot bar and uh, in it put uh, some of the random things that we have up here like this uh, rotten flesh the small tetrahedrite and the limonite it's going to just save that space <clears throat> on uh, from our hot bar or from having it in our inventory which is nice so we're going to go ahead and place this bad boy down in here take that out of there crap I need more grass. And of course, it's getting dark because I was trying to wait for all that stuff to finish. And so now I am running out of room. Or running out of daylight. Praying for daylight, waiting for the morning sun. We actually do need to make a uh, bed as well, so I do need to pull up a bit more of this thatch. Or to, I need to make some thatch, I should say, from this straw. <clears throat> As much of this as possible. All right, and that's as much as possible because I don't have another knife. Nope. <clears throat> so we're gonna get this bad boy started. Right, yeah. All right, so we have that in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need a bit more. Of this sorry chicken one two three four five six seven eight and then we need another fire starter all right the fire is going so that will be melting uh, down our uh, uh, copper <clears throat> Now, if we could find some uh, tin, that'd be great because then we can make brass, and brass is really nice, actually. 
Um, looks like I grabbed a brown mushroom. So the first thing, like I said, that we are going to make is uh, we'll actually make a saw mold, or we'll use our saw mold, and um, I honestly think a pick mold, uh, like the, doing the, the pick axe will be uh, more beneficial to us. And the biggest reason for that is because we need to start getting some stone as well. <clears throat> So we can make things like anvils and things along those lines. It's dark over there. I'm scared of that. I don't want to go that way. Um, food we're still doing good on. Let's throw these three in here and start that up. Get some of this sand going. Actually, I think we used all of our sand to fill in the holes. Well, we got five pieces of glass. It's not terrible. All right, the the mushroom, the brown mushroom by itself, isn't really anything. Um, <clears throat> I could actually roast this seaweed if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because I only have 0 0.1 ounces. <clears throat> it's not really a whole lot. Let's make a torch off of this other torch and light up our torches. Whenever your torches burn out, you just need to go through and right click on them with another torch and it will relight the torches uh, for another 48 hours. It'll basically do the recharge. Um, these ones up here have actually been burning pretty good. Just gonna go around our perimeter and light up the torches. All right, so that's nice and set. Um, <clears throat> now, while that is burning over there, we are actually going to get started on uh, shoveling out our area because we do have quite a bit of stuff to shovel. Give me one second, guys. All right, so with our shovels handy. Um, let's see, What's the best way to do this. If we do it this way, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> have the one inside. Hmm. Hmm. That's basalt dirt. I don't want that. I want conglomerate dirt. <coughs> so that might be good. So that's 11. So if we fill that in, that'll be a nine, nine area. All right. So yeah, that's how we're going to do it. <coughs> So we'll start digging. Our fire's still burning over there. Definitely important. You want to make sure that you have your fire burning. <clears throat> Shut our name account. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen. Count that again to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Looks like this one's coming down. <clears throat> now the reason why I'm making it odd numbers is just because it helps since most of our uh, machines and whatnot are not our machines. Our uh, things down there are gonna be 
one by one. And then with doors and whatnot, you know, it just, it's easier, okay? You guys should know that by now. So that'll make this our interior space. Fire still going, so. Lots of clearing out of the inner area, you know, your, your, your base set. All right, that is still going. Now, I heard a skeleton over there on that side. Yeah, try my honey, oh, the clothes in the dryer. Can you check on them and stuff? Haha, -ha, oh, and the kitty potty downstairs needs attention, I think. Will do, honey face. Wow. <clears throat> Alright, that fire's still going. <clears throat> now, if we were to make a uh, <clears throat> copper um, shovel, that would work out really nicely. They, they do shovel faster, and they do last quite a bit longer. But in that same sense, I don't know. I don't know if... I, I just don't know if it, if it really benefits out. You know what I mean? If, it, if it's worth the tin copper... Um, this early on to, to set that up. It's my feelings about the whole thing. <gasps> Our copper's done. Okay, we wanted to get that and make sure we kept checking on that. Oh no, the chicken died. <sighs> chicken got too close to the fire and caught fire. We forgot the KFC. All right, so in this one we have liquid copper, 200 units of liquid copper. So to build our stuff, we're going to right click with the, the system in our hand. We can see we have 200 units of copper in there. We are gonna make a saw mold and our pick mold. We'll set these right in here. So bam, pick mold and saw mold are done. And now we have, if we look in here, we have no more. What does it say if you hold shift? Sneak right click to place object. Oh, that doesn't help. Copper mold is out, and then we lose the uh, <clears throat> the molds form, like we're breaking the mold to get these out. So we have a copper saw blade and a copper pickaxe head, and that is goodness in my opinion. I'm just saying, that's good stuff right there. So we're gonna take these and you're gonna have to use sticks. Carpenter level achievement. Maybe I should put that on the right spot. All right, so we have our pickaxe. Yeah, time to mine, finally. <laughs> and it is daytime, look at there. Now, uh, where the benefit lies, as I was saying, of having the copper saw right off the bat is that we're gonna take a lot of this wood, actually. And we're going to take the copper saw and put the copper, or the acacia log right in there and we get acacia lumber. Let me get up here, just because I need to be able to see around me. What are you doing here, creep? Yep. There you go, die in the water, don't damage anything. Sweet. All right, so acacia lumber, we're gonna go like this, and then like this. And then like this, and then like this. So that gives us 32 planks, right? Put the four in there, a workbench, obviously, except it doesn't go out for you to go through and, and, and use it in your system, it stays in your crafting. So now you have a full uh, crafting uh, workbench and everything like that in there, which is nice, so nice. So very, very nice. <clears throat> um, so let's get to building some uh, some storage. So let's take the copper saw again, put these up here, bump. And we're gonna take these and we're gonna put them and build two chests so we can get some of this crap out of our inventory.
Yay! So good. Dirt. Okay, this is all, and this is basalt. So let's get the basalt out of here. We're going to have tons of uh, dirt, which is the reason why I'm putting these up here. Put these right there. Uh, our straw we'll keep right here. Sulfur powder, yes. We'll keep the rock, we'll drop the reeds, drop the feathers. I really don't want the rotten flesh, but hey, what can you do? Keep those ones. Keep this on us handy. All right, string. Basically everything we're not gonna wanna lose. We'll keep the clay in there. Keep the sticks on us, the shovel. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to try to chunk that in the river. Chunk it in the river. Drink deeply. And we need to eat. So actually keep those bones. Come on, there we go. <clears throat> All right, now back up to the surface. We're gonna have to get some more of this seaweed so we can uh, survive, you know, have some food, some nourishment, if you will. So, I mean, surviving uh, can be done pretty well in this game. I mean, it's, it's just making sure that you have ample resources around you. And once you have the resources around you, and I like seaweed, a lot of people will be like, oh, wait, I can eat the seaweed? I was just like, grabbed it because I was like, oh, that looks cool. I wonder if you can eat it and just stuffed it in my mouth. And that's what you do, right? You just go stuff random things in your mouth. You don't care if you get poisoned or not. That's how Bear Grylls did it. I'm gonna eat this cockroach. No, is that, that, I, don't, I don't think that was Bear Grylls. Might have been Bear Grylls. All right. So seaweed is all combined. That's 37 ounces, which isn't bad. Let's just see if we get something more. Food, glorious food. Crap, I'm gonna drown. Ugh. I was hurting. All right, 51 ounces. Come on, get out of there. And we're eating. And it's good stuff. But I think that's going to wrap it up for this time, guys. I'm going to uh, try to get a lot of this, uh, the digging done in our area over here. Let's see what I can do to spread out that process. Because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me. Really? And it just starts raining. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to sit here and uh, just watch me digging this out the whole time. It might be kind of boring. But... As I said before, that is going to wrap it up for this time. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and joining me. Until next time, guys, I am DreamRaver23, reminding you all to game happy, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.